Good morning, friends. We have Mr. C. A. Utpal Shah. He is the director of Amity School, Baruch, and Amicus International School, Vadodara. We welcome you at today's forum, Utpal Ji. Thank you. Uh, under your leadership, Utpal sir, how has been uh, you know uh, uh, taking the the education uh, in implementing the newest technology in the schools which you are leading? See, the phase of pandemic has given us uh, absolutely new dimension to the field of education as far as the classroom teaching is concerned. Lots of emphasis has been given on the use of technology and uh, internet connectivity. The school did well just because we could adapt ourselves during this pandemic time. With respect to the use of technology uh, and bringing it to the, from the classroom to the uh, residences of each and every child. Uh, when we talk about uh, the implementation of technology in the institutes, uh, newest technology, uh, a very important uh, factor which, is, uh, which comes to the mind is the financial knowledge of investing right amount into right product. You being a, uh, you know, having a background of a, the finance background, how do you manage to uh, inculcate or adopt a technology versus the price which is there? Too? I think it is always like uh, whether it was Anda was first or Margi was first. So I think as an institute, uh, we should invest first in the technology and then we should think about the returns. I am sure once the parents are satisfied with your services, they never mind paying the fees. So cost factor, maybe yes, initially we might have to invest something, but in the long run it, it pays. Any of the case studies, uh, Utpal sir, would you like to share uh, during this tough time of two years? How, how did you manage and sailed off across taking teachers, faculties, parents and students in one? See, I think, uh, I do not know, but uh, I must say thanks to the God that we could envisage such a critical situation in the first week of pandemic. We started our online classes on 1st of April itself. That was, I think, on 23rd, uh, the lockdown was announced. And we could start the online classes within uh, seven days of its announcement. So that was the one uh, thing which clicked almost in the right direction for us. We took the Reliance broadband connections. Uh, we made the laptop compulsory for all the teachers. And uh, classrooms were converted into the uh, studios. So each classroom was having a 65 inch smart TV. The teachers were bringing their laptops. The connectivity was given and somehow we could reach to the students despite having uh, offline classes within seven days. That was, I think, a crux of the issue. Commonly yes. Uh, sir, so, uh, today we have been gathered where we can see uh, so many schools are here, teachers, academicians are here. We can see the edtech players and the startups are here. Even the government is coming. How does uh, an, uh, such kind of forums or symposiums helps overall education sector to grow and learn? I think uh, over the period of time, it has been very transparently clear that the uh, one thing which is very uh, going to happen is one has to change the way we think. The adaptability is going to be the live factor for anybody to survive. I think the way uh, these people who are coming here and displaying their products is going to be the future of the education. For example, the first presentation which was given was of a classroom acoustic. It has clicked us, right? So this is something where probably, you know, the future of classroom or future of school education is going to be. So I think it, it, it immensely helps all the participants. Sir, to share with you, we have recently completed our one year of existence. Ardocom Media was started as a startup, but uh, we have celebrated our anniversary. Any message or uh, any guidance would you like to give for Ardocom Media groups? No, I can't give you any guidance, but I can wish you best of luck. You are doing a fantastic job for the school education and maybe for the higher education. My best wishes to you. Thank you so much for being a part of this event. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.